because we are going to Winnipeg now in the CFL Combine, and I appreciate as you as you joining us. I, I listen, dude. I have been waiting for this interview for a long time, man, just to get your football story and 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 all the rest. But can you tell me as you how's your week been in Winnipeg? I know you're just getting started, but what's going on out there? Yes, uh, I just want to correct you. My name is a Joe. It's pronounced a Joe. A Joe. Okay. A Joe. Yes, sir. But, you know, other than that, it's been great, man. You know, flew in here yesterday about 7 p.m. Uh, got all my stuff situated, got my hotel room, you know. I'm staying with an old boy from uh, Delaware State. He's uh, originally from Hamilton, but my boy Mike. So it's been great, man. The food's amazing. Uh, everyone here is so nice. You know, the hospitality is great. The hotel, oh, my goodness, bro. Sweet life is acting Cody vibes. Like, I love it. Other than that, yeah. How about that? That's... That's Fort Gary. The Fort Gary I'm, uh, is what, what I read where you're at. Oh, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, that's, that's a great spot. I think there's a keg right across the street and a Starbucks, too. Okay, uh, Joe. Here's the, here's, the, here's the big one. How does a guy go from Brooks, Alberta to big time U.S. college football schools and then up to the CFL Combine? And I know you went to Clearwater Academy. I know all that, but a lot of our viewers don't. Would you mind just talking about your football story? Okay, well, yeah, I started in Brooks, Alberta, as you just said. Um, played a lot of sports growing up. Um, ultimately, around eighth grade, ninth grade, I was like, whoa, I'm getting, like, super, super good. I'm like, you know, I want to pursue this, like, like for real, for real. Man, I want to make it out, you know? And ultimately, ninth grade, I decided, I was like, I got to go to a bigger city. I got to, you know, no one knows me in little, little Brooks, 14,000 people. Like, come on. So I decided to take my talents up to Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, that's where I went and played uh, football and basketball. Did a little bit of track and field and all that at uh, Harry Ainley High School. Um, after that, I did two years over there. And uh, I was like, you know, just getting a whole bunch of interests and whatnot. Not, no one's really pulling the trigger on me. So I was like, yeah, let me, uh, let me go down south and show them boys I can ball, right? So decided to take my talents down to Florida, Clearwater Academy International. And that's where I played football over there. And that's where I kind of blew up and whatnot, you know, and uh, ultimately decided to take my talents to Clemson University. And, uh, yeah, I'm forever grateful because I learned a lot. Um, you know, did my thing, uh, decided that I should uh, move elsewhere. So I, then I went to University of South Florida, as you mentioned earlier. And, then, yeah. You know, it's just been a, it's been a journey, it's been a journey. I also, I even played at a uh, Garden City. It's a little uh, Juco in, down in Kansas. But yeah, but three schools, you know, four years. So, hey, I'm just trying to get it, man. Just trying to make it out. Okay, well, I'm familiar with Garden City. I watch Netflix too. You know, but the interesting yeah. thing was I was talking to one of the Bulls people. And I said, how come I didn't see him in the, in the Boca Bowl last year? They said, no, no, I wasn't with the Bulls last year. He went to Garden City. So yeah. um, can you talk about that decision? What, so you're done at Garden City, I would assume. What led you to go from South Florida to Garden City and now exploring your next options? Um, <clears throat> ultimately, uh, you know, I have some uh, family issues going on right now. So I'm just trying to take care of them. And uh, me deciding to go onto this path uh, allows me to take care of those issues. So, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm a big family oriented guy. And, uh, you know, just, that's what I do it for, you know. So, just trying to help my mom all in all. Yeah. Good for you, man. Well, so I have this right. Uh, Joe, uh, Joe. Yes, sir. The yes, sir. Joe, Joe. Correct president. Okay. So, I just asked Jackson Sombach, he's a DB from the U of R, what his specialties are at the Combine. Uh, and he says he's kind of an all-around guy. How about you? What should we expect from you at the Combine this week? You know, uh, at the Combine, you should expect uh, JoJo to go full speed, you know, 100% every play, every rep, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm a big physical guy, you know, I never, I'm never ducking no contact or nothing like that. So, you know, I'm gonna, definitely going to show their aggression. You know, I'm going to be the aggressor. Um, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little bigger than uh, most uh, receivers, you know, but I also got that jumping ability. And, you know, some people mistaken me for being big, that I'm big and slow. Nah, these feet work, you know, so I really, I can get there too, you know what I'm saying? So uh, all in all, I'm just, uh, I'm just excited to show, show y'all what I'm about. Well, I got to get this straight.
straightened out because I've seen 6'4", 6'3", 225, 227. What officially have you measured in at this week in Winnipeg? Uh, to be honest with you, I measure in at 2 o'clock, so <laughs> I couldn't even tell you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go pop a cheeseburger for lunch. And I was... <laughs> remiss in not asking Jackson where he would like to go in the CFL draft. I, I, I shouldn't assume because he's from Saskatchewan, he'd like to play for the Rough Riders. Do you have a desired CFL team you'd like to play for as a pro? I, I don't have a desired team. Uh, you know, my, I was born in Calgary, so I want to be a hometown hero, I guess. But like, all in all, bro, I'm just, I, I'll show gratitude to whatever team that chooses me, you know? So. Good. Well, I think any team that chooses you would be happy to have you. And I, and I have to say, say I, I, let's say you're between 6'3", 6'4", 227. That is like the dream wideout, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, uh, have you, have you, obviously, I'm, I'm guessing you've played every position and, and wideout is kind of where you settled at? Or how did you end yeah. up out there? Yeah, uh, I started off as a running back, back in Pee Wee, then I moved to linebacker then I went to slot back and then quarterback and then ultimately I was like yeah I'll just play a uh, wide out and free safety and I did that for a few years and then the transition when I went to Florida I was like strictly strictly wide out yeah. what did you think of the players down here once you got here uh when I got to this Back up, back up to Canada. Clearwater or clear? No, clear no. Water. I'm in. I'm in South Florida. So what did you think oh. once you got to Clearwater and then? Yeah. Oh no, nah, it was. You know, football is football. At the end of the day, you know, they were a little more grittier. But hey, once they brought it, I was like, oh yeah, I got that too. Don't worry about that. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, uh, Joe, I think you've earned, gained. Some fans here today that'll be watching the combine just a little more closely. So good luck, man, and uh, stay safe, be, stay healthy. Thank you. I appreciate you guys for having me on the show. All right, a Joe, a Joe, from Brooks, Alberta, and maybe will be the next football star out of Brooks.